In this lesson, I'm going to explain how to use the dodge and burn tool to create more lights and more shadows. Hello and welcome back to Inspiration Can. I hope you're doing well. In this lesson, I'm just going to quickly explain to you a little about the dodge and burn tools and how we can use them to increase uh, the highlights and the shadows. So first things first, I'm just going to open up our stock image. So I'll come into Photoshop and we just want to open up dodge and burn stock. So we have this image of our woman. So we're going to use uh, the dodge and burn tool to increase the highlights and the shadows. But first I just want to explain to you a little about dodging and burning. What do they mean? What is that? So the dodge tool and the burn tool lighten and darken areas of the image. These tools are based on traditional darkroom techniques for regulating exposure on specific areas of print. Photographers hold back light to lighten an area on the print, dodging, or increase the exposure to darken areas on a print, burning. So in our case, the more we paint over an area with a dodge or the burn tool, the lighter or darker it will become. Okay, so let's take a look at the dodge and burn tools. So they're located over here in the tools panel. If you click and hold, you will see dodge uh, and you'll see burn. So let's look at the dodge tool first. So I'm just going to go ahead just for to show you um, how this works. I'm going to increase the exposure to 50% and I'm just on our background image over here. So the, uh, the dodge tool is to lighten area. So what I'm going to do is just simply draw over the highlights and you'll be able to see instantly that it is brightened. I'll tell you what I'm going to do actually quickly. I'm just going to press, press Control, Alt and Z to undo a few steps. I'm just going to duplicate the background layer and I'm going to do it on, our back, on the newly created layer. I'm going to do our, our dodging on the newly created layer. So I'm just going to go and click and drag quick. Obviously this is just to show you guys very quickly how the dodging and burning works. So you can see it's improving the lighter areas. This isn't how you want to do your technique. This is just me showing you exactly how this works. So this is dodging. You can see if I turn that layer on and off that the highlights have increased dramatically. Uh, that's because we have a high exposure. Again, I'm just doing this to show you the effects that the dodge tool will create. So on the contrary, if we delete that layer and then press Control, Command and J to create a new layer, and let's select the, the burn tool make sure the exposure is higher up around 50 ish and let's just go over the darker areas so you can see straight away darker areas in the hair maybe on this side of the face this top bit of the shoulder and the arm so you can see how quickly that is darkening areas of the image we come in here around the eye so I'm just going to turn that layer on and off and again you can see that the highlights uh, sorry the shadows have been uh, intensified uh, they're much more visible. So that's a, a quick explanation. What I'm just going to do is I'm going to delete this layer and I'm going to explain how you would do this professionally. So the first thing we want to do is actually we, do, we don't want to edit the original image. We want to use another fill layer that we will then dodge and burn on. This layer is actually a 50% grey layer. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down to our, our layer controls, our layer layer panel, and we're just going to hit the new layer icon, and you'll see our new layer uh, is presented. Next, we want to come up to Edit and Fill, and in this drop down of content, we want to select 50% grey. Now you will see straight away the image 50% grey. So this will be what we will dodge and what we will burn on. So for example, if I select the dodge tool to lighten, you will see it lightens. If I select the burn tool, again, you will see it lightens, uh, darkens. So I'm just going to go ahead and undo those changes. And then I'm also going to change this layer to soft light. So when we, when we do dodging and burning, we want it to be a realistic effect. We don't want to create really harsh shadows and really bright highlights. So using this technique of 50% gray layer and then using soft light is a great way to produce the realistic results. So there we go. We're ready and set to start the dodging and burning process. In the next videos, we will tackle the dodging and in the following video we will tackle the burning. I will see you in those videos.
Thank you for learning with Inspiration Clan. I hope you enjoyed this video. To view the full course, visit our website inspirationclan.com. The link is in the description. For more free tutorials, like and subscribe.